Hey everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how I stopped biting my nails cold turkey and giving you the few things that I have done that really helped me stop biting my nails. Quick little backstory. I have been a nail biter my whole life. Pretty much everyone in my family bites their nails and I've never really thought about stopping because I thought that I just couldn't stop. And when I say I was a nail biter, I mean I was a nail biter. I used to bite my nails as far down as I could. I'm gonna try to insert any pictures or videos that I have. You can can see that my nails were just not there. I had no nails. I just decided to stop biting my nails. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to do it. For some weird reason, I just wanted to stop biting my nails. As you can see, they are so much healthier and they're long now, like I have nails. And this might not be long for many of you guys watching this compared to how I used to have my nails. This is like the best my nails have ever looked. And I'm actually so proud of myself for stopping a habit that I've had my whole life. And it just goes to show that if you really want to do something you can do anything you want just stop telling yourself that you can't my whole life I was like there's no way I can stop biting my nails because I've just done it for so long that there's no way that I can just stop and I did stop one day I just decided that I wanted to stop and I stopped cold turkey and if I can do it so can you so I'm just gonna tell you guys my few little tips and tricks that have helped me yeah let's get into the video I don't know if you can see it oh there it is I'm sitting on this poof thingy so if it makes noise I'm sorry I just did not want to sit on the floor also, if you hear any background noise, it's my little sister. Her and her friends are over and they're just playing and stuff. So if there's yelling in the background, that's that. A lot comes into play when you have a habit, whether it's biting your nails or just anything in general. There's a lot of things that come into play to stop it. You can't just be like, I'm gonna stop and stop. I mean, you can, but there's reasons why you have formed these habits over the course of your life. The first thing that I did was I tried to pinpoint why I was biting my nails. I tried to pinpoint different reasons and different triggers, I guess, that would trigger me to want to bite my nails. For me, that was pretty much any time I was stressed or if I was anxious or I was just nervous. Anything along those lines, I would bite my nails. Specifically, stress. Whenever I was stressed out, I would bite my nails a lot more. Once you pinpoint the reason why you do these habits, you can really work around to try to stop yourself from doing it when you are in a situation that makes you want to do it if that makes sense I had to change a lot of things in all aspects of my life to just stop me from biting my nails because there's just a lot of different things that made me want to bite my nails I realized if I just procrastinated in my schoolwork and I just didn't do my schoolwork I would just be a lot more stressed than I would be if I were to just get everything out of the way and just finish all of my schoolwork so what I did to lessen my stress when I had to do anything relating to school because that's really all that's stressing me out right now because I'm in college. Just doing my schoolwork stresses me out. The first thing that I did was I got a planner and I've always used planners, but I did something different. I started to plan out when I would do my schoolwork because I probably should mention that I have ADHD. So planning is very difficult for me to do just because I tend to kind of just keep it all in my head. Then I stress myself out because it's in my head instead of it being on paper. What really helped me was getting a planner and not just writing what I have to do but planning out when I would do these certain things and that really helped me get like a whole view of when I was going to do all of my schoolwork and when I would do everything that I needed to do so then I wouldn't be stressed out and thinking about everything that I have to do all the time if that makes sense. Let me see if I can show you an example. So my planner I have a to-do list so I write everything that I need to do on the to-do list and then I have a month view of everything that I have due for the whole month. And then I have my week view. Planning everything that I had to do and breaking it up into these little things made me not think about everything that I had to do. Normally what I would do is I would think about all the schoolwork that I have to do and think about when I'm going to do it and I would just be thinking about that all the time and that would just make me super stressed out. But having it in a planner and not having to stress about me forgetting to do something made me less stressed. And following the planner is also something that you should do. So if you're planning on doing this, actually follow the planner because then it defeats the whole purpose if you do all of this but don't actually use it. That is the first thing that I definitely think helped me a lot. This will be different for everyone depending on what triggers you to want to bite your nails. So you just kind of have to like self-reflect and try to figure out why you're doing these certain things and what causes them and then you have to attack those things that cause you to feel anxious 
or stress or cause you to just want to bite your nails off that was kind of like the mental tip how to mentally stop biting your nails now I'm gonna go into like the physical tips what you can physically do to make you physically stop biting your nails and I have two things that really did help me I had an issue when I had no nails left to bite I would pick on the skin around my nails it really bothered me if I had any really stuff on my nails you know what I mean like when you have like little hang nails and stuff that just really irked me and I just really hated having that the thing that really helped me with that was vitamin E oil and vitamin E oil it's good for skin health on here it says it moisturizes and nour nour nourishes I can't even say that a lot of people use this for their nails because it really does moisturize your nails and it helps your nail grow strong and it gets rid of that frilly stuff that I absolutely hate so helpful because I don't know it works so fast you'll notice results within a few days it's kind of crazy I was shocked the first week that I started doing all these tips what I would do with vitamin E oil is I would put it on my nails and then I would just massage each fingernail and just kind of massage the skin around the nail and I would do this at night when I'm watching something on TV because I can't really use my nails or hands or anything when I'm doing this because you're massaging your nails so my favorite time to do this was before bed I would just massage my nails for like 10 to 20 minutes I mean as long as you really want I would just do it until the vitamin E was moisturized into my skin and then I would just wipe the excess off onto my hands and it just like makes your hands really soft it's really good for your skin just overall I will say that they sell vitamin E capsules I would recommend just buying like a little tube of the vitamin E oil it's so much easier to just buy this but if you can't find this you can also just buy the vitamin E capsules and just break it with like scissors or something and just put the oil on your fingers this really helped me just keep my nails clean if I have no frilly stuff on my nails I don't really have the urge to even bite them so this really helped me get rid of anything that was frilly any hang nails and it kind of just made my nails look perfect the next thing that I would put on my nails is this nail polish it's called the rejuvaco nail growth system they sell this on Amazon you can buy it at Walmart I'm pretty sure Target just any superstore or supermarket has it this is the only nail polish that has ever worked on me I tried the nail polishes that had like a bitter taste to it that would make you not want to bite your nails because it tastes so bad but the determined person that I am I would still manage to find ways around biting my nails when I would use that nail polish I would bite my nails without actually getting the nail to touch my tongue so I wouldn't taste it I know it's so bad none of those spicy nail polishes have ever worked on me no like nail growth nail polish system thing ever worked with me this is the only thing that actually works for me because nothing else ever worked this is not a sponsored video I really do swear by this nail polish it's such a good product so when I found this nail polish I was like it's worth the $15 that it is because it actually does what it claims to do on it it says it's a nail growth system from dying nails to nails to die for which it's pretty accurate because my nails were dying and they look so much better and healthier now basically what I would do is after I put the vitamin E oil on my nails I would put a coat of this and then I would put a coat of any nail polish and I would repeat this every single day the vitamin E and the nail polish I would repeat it every day I will say though the hardest part is the beginning it takes 21 consecutive days to break a habit the first three weeks it's gonna be like the hardest you're gonna want to bite them but if you just stick it through and just don't do it for the first three weeks after the first three weeks it's so much easier you're not gonna even have the urge to bite them anymore it just takes three weeks to break a habit it's hard at first but if you just do these steps every single day for the first three weeks you'll notice that over time it gets easier and easier and then the urge to want to bite your nails gets less and less if you're just applying all of these tips to your life and just doing it there's no reason why you wouldn't stop biting your nails because my nails were so bad and if I can do it trust me anybody can do it because I used to be the worst nail biter I took my nail polish off for this video just because I wanted you guys to see how they looked like with no nail polish on usually I do have my nails painted now that I have nails I just like to have them done and make them look nice and stuff but yeah that is what I did to stop biting my nails it has been four months and I haven't bit my nails yet I'm pretty sure I've broke the habit I don't even have the urge to bite my nails I will say that I do have like a weird habit of just like looking at them and making sure that they're perfect so I still kind of like pick at them and try to make them look nice and perfect because I don't like it when I have any frilly stuff on my nails now 
now I don't have a nail biting habit. Now I kind of have like an OCD habit with my nails, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you guys have any tips for nail biters that I didn't mention in this video or other tips that have helped you stop biting your nails? Leave them down in the comments below and we can all just have like a little discussion and help each other out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will have all of my social media links down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.